Hey everybody, I'm Philip, and it has been a really crappy last couple of days. I've been meaning to record new content, and as some of you know, I have been dealing with a chronic ailment for over a decade, and uh, it's like a like a black cloud that follows me. It feels like sometimes that black cloud likes to strike lightning on me, and I call those things setbacks. And historically, my setbacks are not just normal things. They're very odd things that seem to only happen to me and further the notion that the universe does in fact hate me. I haven't done a, uh, um, my state of being video in a while because I've been focused on other things. I wanted to put more positive content on the channel and I'm in the middle of the 31 days of horror on the film page. This is historically every year, the most stressful time and most busy time of the year, as far as editing and watching stuff goes, since I'm doing things every single day, 31 days in a row. And every year I hope that nothing happens that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a smooth ride. Well, a smooth ride for me, at least, uh, if you've seen my videos where I describe my condition, you know, that I'm in pain every single day, uh, every moment of every single day. Right now, I'm in pain. Videos who see me wrestling reviews or taking quizzes with Justin or whatever, I'm in pain all the time. But these lightning strikes, these setbacks, amp it up. And that's what I'm going through right now. So I thought I would uh, go through what the level of stupidity that the setbacks can be for me. So yesterday, me and Justin are eating dinner and we are having stir fry. I cook stir fry on a bed of rice. In the middle of taking a bite, I had to sneeze. Now, it wasn't one of those, like, I'm going kind of sneeze things. It was like, I'm going to sneeze right now. Now, with me, everything on me is so weak. And I had just gotten over atrophying a few days prior. So I was still in pain from that. And my muscles were extra weak in my neck. And my back has been bothering me for a while, more than usual, to the point where I haven't been able to do my stretches or anything in about a month. It's been that bad. That's how I could kind of grade the pain from normal to abnormal for me at least if i can do my daily routine of stretching okay it hurts it sucks but it's it's there second skin we're wearing it okay but if it amps up to the point i can't do my stretches then it's bad and it's been like that for about a month now so i'm eating i have to sneeze and my condition is such that i can't sneeze like a normal person most people be like ah chew they sneeze i do that i'm popping a vertebra i am uh, snapping muscles off of my cranium. It's happened before. Same with coughing. I have to cough a certain way. With sneezing, I have to um, I have to do what I call scrunch sneezing. I have to go, like I have to kind of scrunch up my body and sneeze through like, it's hard to like the top of my nose. It's hard to explain, but I have to like focus all the energy of the sneeze into like this area up here. That way I can control how my body and my head move, which is very minimal. It hurts in here, but it makes everything else as safe as possible. Same with same um, um, with stretching. When I stretch, I can't go like, oh, like everybody else does. I have to, I have to like scrunch, stretch. I have to like stretch like this and just shake my entire body because I don't have the range of motion. I'll pop something or, you know, bad stuff will happen. As, at, at the moment, as said, I had food, you know, I'd just taken a bite. So I had food in my mouth and um, I had to sneeze and I had to decide what to do. I was like, if I sneeze, like scrunch, sneeze, the food in my mouth is coming out of my nose. If I sneeze out of my mouth, I'm putting myself in danger of, of, of doing some damage. But in all, in all this is going through my head in like a split second because like I had to sneeze. I was like, oh God, there's nothing I can do about it. So I went greater of two evils, I guess. I don't know which one, like food coming out your nose and possibly being like, if it was like a liquid, if we're having soup, probably would have went the, the former, which was scrunched, sneezed and, ugh. but we're having rice and, and stir fry and, you know, rice. And I, didn't, I was like, if, not only will I, sneeze that out of my nose, it could probably get stuck up in there. And so I went the greater, lesser of two evils. I don't know which one. And I just sneezed into my hands, which was very embarrassing. I have never had this happen in my life. So I've never had to sneeze while I'm eating to the point that I can't either swallow my food. You know, I, I just rock in a hard place here. And of course it happens to me because of course it does. Because that's what these setbacks are there. Of course it happens to me. So I sneezed the food into my hands. Um, I felt very embarrassed because I did it in front of Justin and he didn't mind. He's very patient, very understanding, but it's still, you don't want to sneeze food into your hand in front of you. 
And unfortunately, I did whiplash myself from the force of the sneeze because it was two sneezes um, back to back. But they were like cough sneezes because I had to, I had to, I had to like, Pleugh! out of my mouth. <laughs> that's not, I just, that's a stupid noise. But it's kind of like that. Like I had to sneeze into my hands with food in my mouth. So it wasn't like a normal sneeze noise to the point where Justin asked, he's like, are you okay? Because was I sneezing? Was I coughing? Was I choking? It was a weird noise twice. But yeah, immediately whiplash, felt the pain. And my thing is whenever a setback happens, there's the initial pain and then the residual pain that's added on top of the pain that I already have. It, it's additive. So I immediately knew I was like, I'm in trouble. This sucks. Um, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you stop too hard at a stop sign with me in the car, I can get whiplash and I have, if you hit bumps too hard, you can pop a vertebra. You can, you know, mess up my lower back. I can just, my body is stupidly fragile and I hate it. I hate it. It's ruined so many memories and opportunities for me. And I can't dwell on them because I, I, I will just not want to be here anymore. Like, I, I, I don't think about that. I focus on the positive things, but it's very, it's very debilitating mentally. Just when you get these setbacks and you're just like, I, I'm not even at the, when's it going to stop point? Cause it's been over a decade. It's obviously not going to, this is probably me now. I've given up hope on ever being healthy ever again, like 100% to be able to run, to jump, to lay in any position I want in bed, to sit next to my partner on the couch and cuddle. I can't do any of these things. I have to sit in a freaking lawn chair in the living room because it's the only kind of chair that I can sit in comfortably. It sucks. And I'm not venting. I'm not whining. I'm not trying to be poor me. Or I'm, I'm very lucky in spite of it all. I have family and friends who support and love me, even if they don't understand fully what I'm going through or why I can't do what you want to do because my body just can't handle it. I do what I can and I'm not happy about it either. I'm not. So, so I was dealing with that. Justin went to work later on. I was in the middle of making food and I tripped over the fan cord because I was all happy about it being fall. Now it's autumn. The temperature was dropping. I could wear my hoodies and my pajama pants. And now we're back into the seventies Fahrenheit and it's October. I have this on right now. I'm burning up right now. I'm wearing this because I'm a slob. Apparently, uh, we had spaghetti tonight and I, I got it on my shirt, like up here and here and here I was. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I decided to try and not look disgusting as I talked about this, but yeah, so I had to move the fan back out because the fans over there and I have to move it over here. You can't see, but it's like, there's, I have my blankets up for the sound proofing on the backdrops and I have the fan hidden over here when it's not warm. So it's out of like, you know, walking path. I had to move it back over there. So it would hit me. But when I do that, the, the, the fan cord is stretched a little too long. So it's off the ground. And I was so wrapped up in making food and trying to get everything done that I tripped over the fan cord. And this is yesterday as well. Like after Justin went to work, like I coughed, sneezed, coughed food in my hand and whiplashed myself. And then later on that night, I tripped over the fan cord. So I went, uh, side first into the doorway, like the corner of the doorway. And I hit my, uh, like side of my hand, my pinky and my wrist took the brunt of the impact, but I had to plant my foot down to lessen the impact. And when I do that, that just sent a shockwave through my body. And again, it's nothing to people with regular bodies, but when you're as brittle as I am, I'm Mr. Glass from Unbreakable. It's, it's devastating. But then, um, I didn't realize that tripping over the fan had caused the fan to teeter behind me. And then the fan, it's an oscillating fan, full height. The fan crashed into my back and hit my spine. And that, that, that was done for, for the night. I don't think anything popped. I didn't hear anything. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. One sec. I hold my eye closed when I try not to sneeze. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I try not to sneeze if possible. Cause it always sucks. It always hurts. Okay. So yes, the fan, um, crashed into my back, hit my spine. And so it's, it's, it's like a huge, like 18 inch oscillating fan. It's a big oscillating fan. And, uh, so that's what I'm going through right now. That is the state of being for me right now. And the setbacks I have to watch 31 days of horror tonight. So here in about an hour, we will watch tonight's episodes of the short horror movies. And then I will, then we will record and then I'll edit them. And hopefully that will help take my mind off of what's been going on. So as usual, I, uh, I don't record these kind of videos. I have a lot of setbacks, but I try not to record all of them because I just think that would be, you know, I've lost enough friends who have grown tired of being around me because of this. I don't want to lose more people because who wants to hear me talk about it all the time? It's it's not only sharing it, but it's also catharsis, as I've said before in in, uh, in uh, past videos. 
because I can verbalize it and just get it out out there. And so, yeah, I don't mean to whine or to moan or anything like that. But uh, if you've watched this far, thank you very much for listening to me talk about my condition yet again. It never ends for me. So sometimes it gets uh, mentally, mentally very, very, very difficult. Uh, I'm going down a bad rabbit hole in my head there. So I will just uh, distract myself with something else in the meantime until we start tonight's horror movies. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.